Yeah, I think that's how most Genesis fans would react if they saw Sonic on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Garilla64, and welcome to Super Sonic World! Not that Super Sonic, just, you know, Sonic and he's super because he's he's real cool, you know? This is a Super Mario World ROM hack, if you couldn't tell by the music and by the the cheeky in-game text. Wow, a Super Mario World hack with Sonic? What an original idea! It's so original that I saw it on the internet at least 15 times. That's good, I found this one and that's it. That, well, I mean, I found this one, and then I found one that was just Sonic sprites in the original Mario World, so... I figured people would want to see this aside from that. Some people like me. Somewhere. I am sad now. Well, I'm not one of those people. Sorry, buddy. Adios! Exit stage right. And here we go, into Act 1. Also, that was not Tails' house. Tails was just hanging out there. Look at the little motorbug! Oh, that was adorable. So sorry I had to take its life like that. <laughs> I'm not that sorry, but, you know, I harbor at least some sadness for the fact that it's now dead. Alright, we've got Danger Town right there. And slopes. Can we jump up onto them? Alright, unlike in Castlevania where you can't jump onto stairs most of the time. Or at least the games I've played, you can't do that. And look at this, we've got two emeralds just lying around in bushes. Can you imagine if it was that easy to find them in Sonic 1? You don't need to go into puke bag zone. It'd be fantastic. Hello. I'm gonna stand on your thoughts. Tails is so smart, you can stand on his thoughts. You know how to wall jump! Well, you don't gotta yell at me, dude. I do know how. I do know. See, there we go. You momentarily made me doubt myself. That's why my voice faltered like that. No other reason. More motobugs. Jeez. Alright, there's a lot of enemies in this level, huh? Alright, but what's down there? And I just tried to do a spin dash. That's good. I haven't tried the drop dash yet, just so you know. I know that uh, I'm, I often talk about my drop dash addiction, but right now I seem to be being spared because this doesn't control like Sonic Mania. <laughs> oh god! Oh man, he's in super pain. But you know what? I have the power of space time rewind. Thank you, Proton John. So we're gonna keep on trucking through this. <laughs> I don't feel like going back to the beginning at this point. I've, I've, I've gone so far. I've tried so hard. Please. Nope. Alright. That's the problem with rewinding. I have to touch the key on my keyboard or map it to the controller. And I've tried mapping it to the controller before, and when that happened, it kind of would would rewind a bit too much. So just quickly tapping my keyboard is a lot easier, but it also makes me have to... Are you kidding me? It also makes you have to take my hand off the controller for a second. Okay. Alright, so we can't wall jump off of any wall. I was trying to do that earlier to see if I could get back up to the top there. But, uh, apparently it's only wall jump blocks that are being used here. They didn't apply, like, the over- the overarching wall jump patch that's actually available. That's good, though, because sometimes that can really break things. Because if you can wall jump wherever you want, I'm sure you could find some unintended shortcuts. I don't have to save yet. What do you think I am? A plumber? No. And there we go. A triangle block is now just a part of Green Hill Zone. That's pretty cool. It felt very Sonic-y doing that, actually. It was pretty great. Bounce, bounce. It looks like we're going to an underground section. Or actually, we're just going to be underground because my corpse will be buried. I think that's uh, maybe what we're going to be going with instead. Gosh, underground hallways. This, this reminds me of like a little Minecraft tunnel or something. We're playing like 2D Minecraft with Motobugs and Sonic. I'm sure there's a mod out there somewhere for that. I mean, I, I played an adventure map once that had Sonic stuff in it. It was pretty cool. Too bad that video's gone. And that was not a video from any time recently, that was like... That video was from probably like five or six years ago. Also, Knuckles, you have seen better days, my friend. Jumping won't work. What is it with Sonic's friends being really negative all of a sudden? Yelling at him because he knows how to do things, telling him that his abilities aren't enough. You gotta get better friends, dude. You can't have that kind of negativity in your life. Maybe that's why in Sonic 4 they just stripped all of Sonic's friends out of the equation and let Sonic hang out alone. Also, was that guiding me to my death? That's not cool. So here's a rare frame of crouching, jumping Sonic. Which I'm sure you can get to happen in- Ooh, I did not want that to happen. I'm sure you can get to happen in Sonic 1 by jumping and doing some weird little glitches or something, because that game- 
The sprites freak out, like, all the time when you jump in weird places. Oh, you really like me doing spike jumps like that, huh? Not sure how I feel about that. So far, though, this is pretty okay in terms of level design. I mean, it's not, like, bad. No, I think this was made a long time ago. But, uh, I don't know. I found the download for this on a Razor and Xenon video, so... I don't really know where else to find it. I definitely have searched Super Mario World Central before for these things, and it has not been on there. It's only been, like, weird Sonic that EXE stuff. Because of course it is. <laughs> so, like, I guess I'll link the Razor and Xenon video in my description. In case you want to try this out, but... I don't know. And we blew something up over there. Nice. Act 3! Here we go, jeez. Alright, alright, that's the one thing I would comment on. Act 1 and Act 3 now have had enemies right right in front of you when you start. If you don't have, like, really quick reflexes and you have no mushroom or chaos emerald, you're gonna die. So that's not super awesome. You don't ever want to just kill someone with a noob trap like that. Running quickly allows you to run quickly. Is this an Ego Raptor sequelitis video? Is, it, is, it, is that- are you roll? Is, is this what we're doing right now? <laughs> Alright, so now we have to run quickly to run quickly. But there's a motobug up there that will hurt us every time we get up there. What? Wait, how do I do that, then? Alright, hold on, I'm gonna need to be big. Just running quickly helps me run quick- yes, yes, thank you. Do I have to, like... Oh, I have to just get lucky? Alright, that's another thing I'm not a huge fan of. Also, I keep thinking... Okay. I don't know if you want me to be small for this section, if there's a purpose for that, but, uh, rude. I, uh, it's another thing. Having people, like, like, have to take damage or... I don't know, have, like, really chance-like obstacles like that? It's like, what can I do about that aside from keep hitting the reset button until I get up there without getting hurt, you know? It's not one of my favorite things. Are these, like, all levels? Is this a really, really long game? Or is this gonna be, like, the last one? It's gonna be like, hey, you just said that, and now it's over. Also, do not jump up and hit badniks, even though they're above you. That will not be a great idea for my health. I'm getting super conflicting vibes from this, because I know I need to kill enemies from above, but it looks like I can kill them from below, because I've got the spin jump. Just don't believe in anything anymore. Watch out for the spikes! Cleverly putting the box directly above the spikes, so you think I'd get hurt. There you go. See, that was me trying to jump into an enemy to kill it, but, uh... Clearly, that's not how things work around here. Also, I'll take that one, even though the slide probably should have killed those motobugs. And I can't roll into these guys, either. I have to wait for this motobug to... Actually, I could probably just walk under these guys. I gotta wait for this motobug to be done with its... ...deadly journey. At least I can hang out with them, though. Whoop. There you go. I won't kill you because we shared a bond or... ...over that journey. Whoop. There you go. And like I said, you get to live. And I don't wall jump there? Okay. Maybe I jumped too low? I did jump too low. After pressing the A button, you may feel a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> this will go away shortly. So, alright, you didn't yell at me this time. Alright, my sense of accomplishment is gone. Clearly, because I hit the- well, technically that was the B button, so I didn't feel any sense of accomplishment. It's weird, you jump with B in this game, and A is the spin jump. Which I've mapped to my RB button. I don't know why, I seem to remember playing a version once that had the spin jump on the R button, maybe the Game Boy Advance version? Because it would have been probably A to jump and B to run? Also, I'm supersonic now, and I can't go any farther, the game is over. But hold on. I I'm definitely some kind of, like, lesser version of supersonic, because, I mean, look at me. Oh yes, I'm Cape Mario now. Ooh yeah! Uh... Am I... Is this the version- is this the one where they patch out the- No, 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 hold on. I haven't investigated enough yet. You do not get to take away my fun just yet. Um, this is... Is this the- I think this might be the patch that makes it so the cape isn't super overpowered. And by that, I mean it takes away the ability for you to do the flying thing, but it still gives you just like the- the big grand hover move, where you go up for a bit and then you just float back down. 
Interesting. Yeah, no, because the cave does break levels, like, mad in this game. I don't blame people for wanting to remove that functionality. I've played some ROM hacks that do that. I mean, you still have quite the reach, though. Because, I mean, like, I'm skipping some stuff here. Of course, there's a lot of, like, interior sections in this level, so I don't know if the cape would really break it very much anyway. But, yeah, alright. So, well, it's not maybe not Super Sonic, it's, like, Angry Sonic. Look at his eyes, they're all red. It's either that or it's Shadow and he painted himself blue and put on new shoes. What a, what a guy. <laughs> It's one way to kick off the new year. But anyway, I think that's gonna be all I wanted to show off for today, so if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up more Super Mario World ROM hacks and other things that aren't Super Mario World ROM hacks, because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to my current sponsors, who are Supersonic99 of CCI Games, Cringe Channel, Nick46, Jaded Indolent, Silva PhD, Bob the Hedgehog Gamer, Cosmic Mushroom, Lucas Tallman, Nico the Person, Mitron, Kenneth Gutierrez, Knuckles Channel 3, Knuckles Henry S, Rob Morrison, Mega Traffic Cone Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring, it really means a lot. If you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits, such as being shouted out at the end of every single video and stream. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.